I go by the moniker Skid Robot, born and raised in Los Angeles. I create awareness about extreme poverty and homelessness through my art. My aim is to create a dialogue between the public and political sectors of society to find a solution to this humanitarian crisis. I was out one night with my girlfriend catching tags and I kept expressing to her, you know, how I wanted to do something different with, with my art. We pulled up to a red light over in Skid Row and she pointed out someone sleeping on the floor and she suggested that I paint that person dreaming of money. I thought the idea was brilliant. Me being the graffiti artist, grabbed the spray can, jumped out and brought it to life. And that's how it all started from that point on. Most famous would be the Birdman on the 101 exit in Alvarado. Uh, that all started about almost two years ago now. And the first piece was, you know, a dresser with a television, a window, a nightstand with a bird cage with a little bird in it. And I sent a message to the mayor, you know, I called him out on it and he responded and, and that's where we're at now with this deal is that shortly after, less than a week later, you know, he announces his $100 million plan to fight homelessness. The ultimate goal is to end extreme poverty worldwide. If I could get the mayor's attention, I want the president's attention and the UN's attention. A lot of people support what I'm doing. They understand the message and that it's more important than the crime of vandalism. Really, there, there's a bigger injustice taking place when, when we have you know, our own citizens sleeping on the street, and that's the crime that I'm addressing. You, you know, it, it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to understand that $8 an hour and where apartments or you know, a studio apartment is $800, $900, a gallon of gas is $4, $5, a gallon of milk is $4, $5, cheese, bread, all of these basic necessities of living the costs have gone up exponentially while the wages have remained super low. The most challenging part is, is achieving the goal uh, and also working within the boundaries of being an anonymous artist, within doing something that's illegal uh, that falls in this area, well, is it right or wrong? Is this the best way of going about it? Uh, you know, I have, I have to fear for my freedom uh, for the work that I've done, you know? So there, there are certain things that, that pose challenges and sometimes the people themselves that I'm trying to help because you can't help someone that isn't willing to help themselves. So to get emotionally involved, to commit so much sometimes uh, to someone when you're sincerely trying to help them and they're not there with you, then you know that could that could be uh, disappointed, and it can make you think that it's you that's not making a difference. When the fact of the matter is, some people just aren't ready to change. You know, I never take anything personal, not amongst them or friends, and I just under try to understand where they're coming from. Just trying to continue to make noise with this project because the people are reacting, and they're starting to to be more concerned, to actually empathize, and that's the whole goal of what I do.